uh, hi, after reading the story, I think it was around September the 15th, um, I reached out to Maria Bradshaw, who felt the same way I felt in, in terms of the individuals here, Judine and her mom. Um, clearly, it needs some assistance in navigating how to get from point A to B in relation to the situation that they're in. Um, together, we found some accommodation, myself and Maria Bradshaw, and we are going to move this family in about two days. Uh, but we are appealing to the public now that we have the house, uh, and thanks to the welfare department, who they will be assisting us in, in terms of getting the rent paid and some of the utilities. We're now asking for your assistance, members of the public. A lot of you reached out when this story broke. I saw the comments myself asking how you can help. Here's how you can help right now. We are in need of some furniture, and I will let the family, Judine and her mom, um, give you an idea as to what is required right now immediately, what they need, not necessarily what they want, but what they need right away from you. I am pleading to the public that I am in need of some baby stuff and like furniture um, what kind of furniture do you need living room suite um dinette set washing machine full stuff in general do you have beds to lie on beds no. too everything everything do you have a fridge or stove no. fridge stove no. Everything. So right now you're, you don't have anything? No. Okay. Um, and how has the response been since we highlighted this article mm -hmm. with y'all and the living conditions that your family going through? Well, good. Um, In a sense, we are getting living. some way. Yeah. And also, I would like to say thanks to the nurses <laughs> and doctors yeah. from Ward B3 and for watch the air for her pain destiny and her baby and also I would like to say thank you to Miss Riley the Detroit Keyboard <laughs> and I would like to say thanks for all who coming on board to help I appreciate it very much so